we've tested rapamycin, one of the gold standards in terms of the current generation of longevity therapeutics, in so many ways in C. elegans in our lab, and it doesn't really extend lifespan at the doses that are biologically relevant. It's, it's a yeah, it's 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 true. And so one of the things that we found with it is that the doses of rapamycin that are biologically effective, that are published in the literature as working in C. elegans. The chemistry of the rapamycin molecule is utterly insoluble at the concentrations that are reported. And so when we test out those concentrations, you see crystals of rapamycin on the Petri plate the animals are crawling over. And so they're incredibly, incredibly saturated with the drug. And you'll see a lifespan extension, but it is so far out of the context of a controlled experiment. Now, that doesn't so mean weird. that- So why, so why would that be the case? Like, how, how could that be possible, right? Right, that uh, all this time we've been talking about it and going back and forth. You know, again, you can get a lifespan curve with rapamycin in the animals. It's just the the, the necess necessary dosage is so high, it is crashing out of out of solution. Now, What's really cool is that then you can go and test other mTOR inhibitors and see, we've seen ones that have uh, up to 50% or even more extension of animal lifespan. 